Well, from Master of Fossils, we got next. Well, now that fall is nearing, what television shows are you most looking forward to watching? Ooh, well, there are a couple. I mean, about there. I'm personally looking forward to The Big Bang Theory. It's, you know, a favorite show of mine. Um, also, the show Psych started up. So, um, both very good shows that I enjoy. Um, but there are, you know, plenty of others out there. Uh, what do you think? It's funny. I'm not too much of a network TV kind of person. I mostly stay away from, like, the dramas. Like, I'm sorry, Lost. I, I haven't gotten into Lost, so... Uh, other stuff like Grey's Anatomy, no. Um, I'm a little worried to see what they're doing with Scrubs, though, because Scrubs ended so perfectly last season, one of my favorite shows, and now they're doing something that's set in a new medical school, and, you know, Turk and Dr. Cox are going to be major characters. They're weaning Turk, Elliot, and Carla out. It's, it's going to be a little weird. Um, Castle. Castle is what it's, I'm looking forward to the most. Nathan Fillion. And Stana Cottage gonna be amazing. If you haven't seen the first season, it was on ABC. Uh, funny, sexy uh, crime show. What more can you ask for? And How I Met Your Mother. I'm catching up, and I'll I'll be done with it before the new season starts. And I'm loving that show. Excellent. Well, we have a letter here from Darker Eye saying, uh, "If you think video games should only be fun, you are a coward." That you know, famous quote that we've seen recently. So it's a bold statement made recently. While games should be fun. But fun should not be the only purpose, he says. Uh, constantly making a bunch of video games that are solely about fun with no regard for the story is similar to constantly making nothing but romantic comedies. Sure, they're pretty good for a while, but they start to get stale and eventually you want to see something else. This needs to change. Do you agree or disagree? Absolutely, 100% agree. You can't disagree with a statement if you're a true gamer. I mean, yes, if you, you know, like playing your your flash computer games and oh yeah I'm, I'm playing Peggle and other random games online then yeah of course you want fun you want time wasters but if you're gonna sit down in front of a console you're gonna want more than just fun you want something that's emotionally gripping and stuff I'm sorry Metal Gear Solid games and other games that are specifically driven by narrative they're not meant to be fun yes there are fun elements and you know other stuff like that but you could you could pin the MGS franchise on something that is not driven by fun, it's more mentally taxing with the idea of stealth and the story to get around it, to tweak at your heartstrings. Uh, you know, mature games, and I'm not saying like mature rated, but like games intended for more mature audiences are not just fun driven, basically. Yeah, I mean, gamers are going to be wanting more. Um, if we want to represent ourself, ourselves well as, you know, an art form, as a media, we need to expand more than just, you know, this stereotype of games are fun, you know, meant for kids, you know, all that crap. Meant for but, nerds uh, in their basements of their parents' house in the dark with the dim of the computer glowing on their face. Yeah, no, I, exactly. And, and games are starting to become that, which is, is brilliant. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what director I, I once read a quote from, but basically said, like, video games would be recognized as an art form when specifically like someone cries as a result of a storyline and that's been achu achieved many times like with you know Final Fantasy 7 so I mean it did a great job you know with the emotional side of things it's definitely something that needs to be brought forward in current games that are being made and yeah we want more but overall that is it we are out of letters but you know feel free to keep emailing us and uh, tweeting us your questions or you can post this on our brand new bot-free forums that, you know, have been so graciously set up again. Coming up, we have a breakdown of what stories weren't exactly considered our top headlines, but still don't want to miss it. Hey, game fans. Can't get enough of Show Me Your News? Then check us out at our official fan site, located at smyn.smashnexus.net. There, you can find the latest news on what's happening with the podcast, catch up on all our past episodes, and get the 411 on the many guests we've had on the show. And hey, while you're there, why not take the opportunity to join our all-new forums? You'll be able to catch up on the latest scoops from behind the scenes, meet and chat with other SMYN fans just like you, and really take your Show Me Your News fandom to the next level. So what are you waiting for? On behalf of Yoko, Panda, and the rest of the crew, we implore you to show us your support and visit Show Me Your News at smyn.smashnexus.net. See you there!
well, we've shown you the news, but it's sadly time to wrap things up with a few more notable stories. So let's head into the breakdown. Alright, if you pre-order Guitar Hero 5 through Activision as a special deal, they'll throw in Guitar Hero Van Halen for free. Good deal? Great deal, are you kidding? I mean, Guitar Hero is a popular series and you're getting Van Halen stuff for free? You can't complain. Now, the fighting game Blaze Blue will be coming to Europe in 2010 with features such as new characters and new moves. And will it justify the wait though? You know, Brawl had a several month thing was going to Europe and nothing was changed there. No, it's terrible for, you know, if you want to play online and people from Europe. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver has been confirmed for Western audiences with an estimate of a Spring 2010 release. Are you as pumped as I am? Absolutely, this game's gonna be awesome. Gold and Silver are possibly the best out of the series with what they brought to the table as, you know, a sequel to the classic Red and Blue. But with graphical upgrades and all that, I am looking forward to it so much. Sega's Sean Ratcliffe uh, claimed that the company has deduced that it is impossible to appease all Sonic fans with one game after studying the age demographics. Are you buying this? They were talking to like 8 through 10 year olds and like saying it was different between what teenagers wanted? No, just give us a good game, a fun game. And Werehog doesn't cut it. Recent patent applications show a horseback peripheral for the Wii as well as a Sony laughter detection device. Which you think is the lamest of the two? There's no answer to this. They're both pretty lame. Um, I. I, I can't even get, need to give a good answer, it's just not possible. At GamesCon in Germany this week, not only did Microsoft announce Fable 3, but at BlizzCon, Blizzard says that World of Warcraft will get a Cataclysm expansion with new races and a new level cap of 85. Big news, right? I really don't care unless it hits level 100 and World of Warcraft stops. Well, that's going to do it for episode 3 of Show Me Your News. We hope you learned something, but please give us some feedback. We'll try to do better for next time. You can reach us at these sites here, so subscribe and send us some tweets. Thank you so much for listening today. With that, I'm Yoko. And I'm Sword Hunter. And we are out. Show Me Your News!